was Oscar season, and that means some of the world's richest performers came together to exchange gold statues and virtue signal until they pulled a fucking muscle. But throughout all the pandering, buzzwords, and verbal masturbation, the Huffington Post was not to be outdone by gazing in wide-eyed horror at the lack of diversity when it comes to the Academy Awards. So grab some popcorn, put on your 3D glasses, and stick your hand in my pocket. We're going to the movies. And the Oscar goes to... Look at that! All the white nominees on the screen there. Disgusting, isn't it? That they would dare to be the best in their field. They shouldn't have even taken the role. They should have said, offer it to a black woman first. In the 89-year history of the Academy Awards, there have been over 1,500 acting nominations. That sounds like too much. Maybe we should rein it in a bit, yeah? Notice how we gone to black and white, though. That's the Huffington Post trying to subliminally incite a race war. Of those, only 16 nominations have recognized Asian actors. So then, statistically speaking, does that mean Asians are generally shit at acting? Can we take that from it? Is that what that means? You heard that right. 16 ever in the history of the Oscars and humankind. Humankind? What the fuck? It, do you think you would have got complaints or something if you'd have said mankind? Actually, you probably would from the Huffington fucking post. Four of those nominations went to the same person, Sir Ben Kingsley. Damn right, man's a beast. I lost my shit when I heard he was going to play the Mandarin in Iron Man 3. Only half Asian though. His mama was called Anna Mary and his father... And his father. Lived in fucking Yorkshire though, so I'm not so sure about the Asianicity of him, really. Except for the top left where he's playing Gandhi, and in my mind that is exactly how his father looks. A fucking Yorkshire Gandhi mind. You must be the change you want to see in world. I don't think anyone would have bought it. Kingsley won Best Actor for his role in Gandhi and only two other Asian actors have received the coveted statue. Miyoshi Umeki, never heard of her. It was 1957, so I bet a lot of people were thinking that could be any fucking Asian, you know? Like, really taking your word for it here, guys. She's wearing the old kimono and has a flower in her hair just to really drive home that she's from the Far East. I mean, you can't see something like this and then say stereotypes have no foundation in truth. You just can't. But then this is the Huffington Post. Miyoshi Umiki and Hang S. Noor. Oh, and an Asian woman has never won Best Actress. Well, sounds like they need to step up their fucking game then, doesn't it? Oh wait, no, no, I meant racism. That was it, racism. Merle Oberon is the only nominee in this category. Mel Oberon, fucking weird name, had a mama of mixed ancestry and an Irish father, so besides her being born in India, I don't think you can call her Asian. Look at her! She played Anne Boleyn in The Private Life of Henry VIII. Anne Boleyn! You know, that famous Indian woman, yeah? Fucking mad. By that logic, a white woman giving birth in Zimbabwe will always have a black child. I guess it's just something in the air. That was in 1935. She was the Academy's first Asian nominee ever. Well, shit, for 1935, that's actually pretty good, considering how people weren't exactly accepting of foreigners. Of course, this was in a time when you weren't awarded anything based solely on your race. Oh, how times have changed. 82 years later, Dev Patel brings the total number of individual actor nominations to 13. See, now that would irk me if I were old Dev there. I'd be thinking, did I get nominated because I deserve it, or did I get nominated because someone was under pressure to be more diverse? That would really piss me off, that would. But, you know, I guess the money helps. Do you have any idea what it's like knowing my real brother and mother spent every day of their lives looking for me? Well, now I've seen that, yeah, it was probably the diversity. That was not very good. Very breathy. So that's three wins and 13 nominees in 89 years. Well, if it was zero and zero for 89 years, then you might have a case to argue. Otherwise, it says to me there are either not as many Asians as there are others in Western cinema, or most Asians can act for shit. And Bollywood, don't forget Bollywood, that's kind of big. Fuck knows what's going on with Japanese cinema though, I think they've just about given up. But this lack of representation extends to the rest of Hollywood. Robbery ladies, kind of gentlemen, pleased to introduce myself. 
<laughs> How wonderful! You wouldn't get away with that now, would you? You just wouldn't. That's Marlon fucking Brando, though. Many people consider him to be the greatest screen actor of all time. And so did he, too, by the look of it. Fucking sat there reading the script thinking, yeah, I, I could pull off Japanese. I'm the greatest screen actor of all time. And then decades later, Robert Downey Jr. plays an Australian who is playing a black guy and the bar gets raised. The film industry has a long tradition of casting white actors in Asian roles. Yeah, this was 1956 though. The fucking US only nuked the fuck out of the Japanese like 11 years before that. I bet there wasn't a genuine Japanese on the screen for fucking ages. I share your taste in women, Target Tai, but not in blood. Farewell, Tartar woman. Oh, come on, don't give me John Wayne. At least Brando put a fucking accent on. What the fuck did John... He never even tried, did he? There's like zero fucking effort there. And again, it was in 1956. Pearl Harbor was like 15 years before that. And I hear a lot of people died. Look how some people in the older generation still carry that animosity and mild racism. And then remember, everyone probably felt like that in 56. And while it may seem like things have gotten better, opportunities for Asian actors continue to be whitewashed. And white roles are given to non-white people. James Bond, Johnny Storm, Red from the Shawshank Redemption, Robert Neville in I Am Legend, fucking Kingpin in the Daredevil film. Granted, none of them are Asian, but there weren't any calls of blackwashing either. In favor of Tilda Swinton in Doctor Strange, Emma Stone in Aloha, Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell, or the good guys in The Last Airbender. Right, Emma Stone is fucking awesome, so I guess that role was cast on talent. Scarlett Johansson is a massive name, especially when it comes to sci-fi circles, so it makes sense that she would be cast in Ghost in the Shell. I really don't know about Tilda Swinton, I think it's because she looks really freaky with or without a bald head. And The Last Airbender? You've got to be fucking kidding me, there was so much Asian in that! Given it was an American film, they were one fucking dragon away from people calling cultural appropriation. Fuck off with that shit. Shit. You get the picture. But the world we see in films should reflect the real world. What's that? Mulan? What's the problem there? She was sketched by a white artist, was she? They got a white cartoon to Asian up for the role. What's the problem? In the words of one of Hollywood's few Asian voiced, Asian bodied characters, we've got a long way to go. Asian bodied? Did she just say Asian bodied? It's a fucking drawing! I don't know where you're getting Asian voiced either, considering that was an American fucking accent I heard just then. I'm just saying, they could have at least got Marlon Brando in to voice it. He would have put on the accent. This whole video comes down to the age-old best person for the job argument. Yes, there aren't many Asian Academy Award winners, but that's not because racism. It's because they weren't as good as the people who actually won. Being Asian isn't an achievement and it requires no trophy. Unless you want a special Asian category at the Oscars because that wouldn't be demeaning at all. Thanks for watching guys and remember, the sure way to win an Oscar is to play someone with a disability or be in something about Jews. <laughs>